just like on the 500, there's directional controls, and then you know as the cylinder gets down, there's a point uh, pilot pressure, which is about five bar, and it tells the cylinder to do next in line. You know what I mean? Through an MPF, a multi port sensor, and all these lines will lead to S1 and S2, and the, that's the brain of it. So it tells it which direction to go. You know, when one's gone, this one's going to be all the way back. If it isn't, it make you'll hear the machine pause for a second, because it's bringing the other one back. And when they meet together, then they switch. Boom, boom, boom. They must meet. If it doesn't. Um, a check valve is probably opened up and you're losing uh, return oil. Because every time this thing is switching back and forth, it's keeping the same oil in itself. That's the reason why the line. So as one's pushing, the other, the oil is forcing the other one up. up. You understand? When it's that, loop oil. That's right. When the check oil, uh, valve goes bad, it's returning it back to tank instead. So that could be a problem. I don't know if you've ever had a 500 that did that. That would no, that'd be the culprit usually. It's a one-way check valve. And now the machine has to generate the loop oil instead of add to it. And what, uh, which part was there was off of a 750? Okay, so uh, so what I was telling you on um, the first time you came, yeah, this is a real rarity. They, um, we only put about three of them out in, in the world on, on this one, on these 260. Um, it, because it has an internal soft switch. Soft switch. On most of them, if you look at this guy, Tillman's 500, a remotely. Uh, Remotely, it's done here. See the box up here? Yeah. And that was the, okay. So that was Schwing's answer. That keeps the spike pressure off of the end cylinder. I'll tell you what happened. Open up, it'll dump the whole thing. And that kept the spike pressure off of that cylinder. See where he's welded it? That's all that soft switch done. Is it kept when that piston rolled down there at 200 bar? Slam, bam! That kept the, the spike pressure because when it slammed, you might exceed 600 bar point you know not not for very long a half a millisecond but it was a it was 600 bar so that's what they kept the pressure off that so now this design incorporated in it it just got too cost effective for showing the handle um this was a, a one-off they put them on there and it, and it worked great but then the bean counter at the other end said no we can't do that it's going to cost us that much more money now that it makes the machine five thousand dollars more nobody's going to pay for it so they remotely because that system that you see there is about 1200 bucks. so this is a real rarity the same brain is just a smaller on a 750 correct it's real good they're real effective that brain was made for a pump it wasn't you know confiscated like oil in, or oil in or reed off of a hand valve off of a loader that was made for a country pump you know but an engineer from uh, germany made it so that thing would last probably longer than the machine will trust me mm -hmm. so um you, you've got your um flow control and that just like a water valve you screw it in slows the water down or the oil screw it out speeds the water up or the oil and just like on your 500 same effect it's just a little bigger because um on a 500 um this one's working off the pump on a 500 it's remotely done that means um on a 500 you're you're screwing it in and it's, it, it tells oil now to tell the pump to move the swash plate to 80 percent 100 percent 20 percent well this is doing it internally off the pump um, we had a gentleman with a Mako that had a uh, cracked one. That was the downfall of it. <clears throat> These are a little bit more expensive, but they're more effective. They're instantaneous, whereas a 500, sometimes they get stuck. You, you turn it down, you're like, man, the thing's not doing it. And all of a sudden, it slows down. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first sign your old's bad, then, if the swash plate is getting stuck. Um, so your soft switch here, um, it's in the normal operating position. When you switch it over and turn it offline, then then it hits harder. Um, it, was, it was designed to let you have the flexibility of pumping through a tough mix and then when that truck leaves you switch it back into normal and, and keep on you know so, so the next new truck right there that's normal operation correct and it swings all the way the other way to when you cut it off or, uh, mm -hmm. you cut it off and then it's offline you'll hear it you'll hear it definitely make the definite noise boom boom i mean it really gets loud mm -hmm. that you told me not to run yep not to run it all the time like that yeah. otherwise you you'll eventually have that yeah. then you'll be back here and the pump <laughs> moving 36 liters a minute yeah. dump the whole tank in a half a second and you'll shoot it 2,000 feet in the air what you, you're like whoa it's a geyser by the time you turn it off that's it you're done you dump the whole tank that geyser <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if you salute it or what it'll be a, right. it'll be great beautiful on the job yeah the now, uh, driver you'll be covered man oh shit it'll be beautiful <laughs> so you got three stops <laughs> and then there's a manual lever here um, on the other side I'm going to show you Yeah, I see it over that, there. Mm -hmm. That's um, the same. And that just for me, um, what that does is um, it tells the S1 and S3, 
I don't know what to do next. So it's just a, a, a directional cutoff. So, so when this piston comes up, it's shooting pallet oil to that valve. I turn the valve off, the machine doesn't know what to do next. So it sits there and holds pressure. So I can test each side <coughs> of the piston. I can test the rod side and the piston side. <coughs> I can test for leaks. I can Don't forget to subscribe. Also, you can go to our website, liveequipment.com, and you can see a complete list of equipment we have available for sale. Or just keep navigating through this channel. Have a great day.